This standard really focuses on building students' conceptual understanding. For this standard, students should only work with fractions and mixed numbers of like denominators. They should have experiences that help them learn to compose and decompose fractions to solve problems involving addition and subtraction, and they should use visual models to support and justify their work. So for example, um, Trevor has four and one-eighth pizzas left over from his soccer party. After giving some pizza to his friend, he has two and four-eighths of a pizza left. How much pizza did Trevor give to his friend? So I've represented that problem here, that Trevor has the four and one-eighths pizza. Then he gives some to his friend. And then he has now, after giving some to his friends, this is what Trevor now has. So I guess this is sort of Trevor after, and this was Trevor before. And so our job is to figure out how many or how much of the pizzas he gave to his friend. Um, so Trevor had four and one-eighth pizzas to start. So actually, I've already drawn that and shaded that in. So you can see the one, two, three, four, and one-eighth that Trevor had. And then I want to show the pizza that he actually still has left. And so I'm going to actually circle the two and four-eighths that he has left. So there's my two. And then I'm going to circle the four-eighths. So this is my Trevor after. And then to figure out what he gave to his friend, all I need to do is look at what, um, what is not circled that's shaded. And so here he has one pizza, and then he has four-eighths and one-eighths, which is one and five-eighths. So he actually gave his friend one and five-eighths. So using a visual model really eliminates the need for regrouping when you're subtracting mixed numbers. And regrouping is not an expectation in the fourth grade. So this eliminates that need.